We want to give a special thanks to Briar for partnering with us to make this video. What's up, y'all? I'm Toya from My Froggy Stuff and a long time Briar fan. Today, I'm going to share with you some of my favorite Briar Craft products. There's a variety of Briar Craft and activity kits. Look, I'm even on the packaging. On the back of each one, we can scan the QR code and get crafty. This is the Colorful Horse Breeds Paint and Play, where we can paint our own horses. This kit includes four horses, one foal, a paintbrush, six paints, and a painting tips guide. On the back, we can see all of the horses and they're labeled. Sport Horse Foal, Frisian, Tennessee Walking Horse, Mustang, and the Lusitano. At the top it says, Horses come in many different colors. Pick your favorite color or use the painting tips guide to paint your dream horses. Let's take them out of the box so we can get a closer look. Here are all of the horses ready to be painted. A painting tips guide that can give us some ideas on how to paint our horses. Our six paints, we have a white, a black, and four hues of brown. And of course, a paintbrush. I am also using a few items from home, like a cup of clean water, paper towels, a paint palette or double paper plates to mix paints, clear polish to give the eyes a little shine, and if you would like to protect your project, you can always use a spray-on sealant when you're finished. Now let's get started. For our Tennessee walking horse, I'm going to use this beautiful golden brown. Let's put a little bit on the brush, then paint a base coat. I like to start out with thin coats of paint, leaving the areas I want white unpainted, allow it to dry, then paint another to get any areas I might have missed. Let's use the next color to add a little shadow. I'm just following the lines that are already on the horse, then use more of that golden color to just blend it in. I'm gonna mix in a little white into that golden brown, then lightly brush for highlights. I'm just taking my time blending the colors, trying to get everything just the way I want it. Let's use this dark brown on the muzzle, blending that in. Then let's add a little around the eyes and maybe a tiny touch on the tip of the ears. I'm using the same brown I used for my shadows on the hooves. With some darker brown details, I paint the eyes black and very lightly brush the tail with that golden brown. I chose to water it down a little so it's nice and thin, giving us a golden palomino. Let's take the Lusitano and paint it all white. Add a tiny bit of black paint to white paint to make gray. Use it to add shadow to the horse. White paint to smooth it out and I'm adding a little bit more gray on the back legs. Add gray to the muzzle and around the eyes. I made it a little darker on the lower legs and the muzzle. And let's add some gray to the mane and tail as well. Let's add a few little dapples with a little white paint right over the grayer parts that we painted. I paint the eyes and the hooves black to finish another horse. Let's paint the Frisian black for the base coat and allow it to dry. Then use this reddish brown for some highlights, giving our horse a reddish hue. And it is a lot easier to see in person than it is on camera. You can kind of see it on the bottom of the tail. For the foal, let's paint it brown for the base coat. And then after a few coats, let's use the dark brown for a little shading and then black for the mane and tail. I painted the hooves a tan color, then added some brown and white stripes to finish our little foal, giving us a very colorful set of horses. For my last horse, 
let's do something a little different. I love using briar horses to create miniatures. So today, I am going to make a gate using our briar horse as a statue. For this project, we will be using foam board, scrapbook paper, I'm using a picture that I printed from home, plain paper, coffee stirs, cardstock, and paint. I start by laying out several coffee stirs and gluing a few across to connect them. I glued them at the top and bottom and one going across the center. Then let's trim the top to make a curve, paint it black, then set it aside and allow it to dry. While waiting, I cut foam board into strips. I cut them to six and a half inches, glue four together to make a box. Cover with paper, cut a square that is slightly larger to go on top. I'm going to cover it with white paper to clean up those edges. Now we can glue it on top. Repeat to make more. Cut two rectangles of foam board for the walls. Mine are five and three quarters tall. However, you can choose whatever height you want. Cover with paper. Glue it between two of the boxes. Cut and cover a thin strip and glue it on top to make a stone wall. Repeat to make two. Cut thin strips of cardstock. Glue them onto the edge of the gate. I glued on two, sandwiching the coffee stir in between. Then we're gonna open these and bend them going to the sides. Glue the ends of the paper onto one of the columns to make a gate that can swing open. Place the horses on the columns if you have more than one, even better. To make a gate with horse statues. This is in a 1-6 scale, however you can always adjust the measurements to fit your miniature world. However you choose to decorate your horses, be sure to have fun and get creative. To learn more about Briar and the real horses who inspire us, visit the Briar website at www.briarhorses.com And we will see you next time.